Hello, my name is Luis Enrique Ramos Coronado, and I'm an SBAR member uh, whose duty is to work on case studies that will be presented. In this case, uh, I've worked on nine case studies related to crop production and the agribusiness world. Okay, so now moving to the Excel for Agribusiness video lesson. Uh, this will be the, the nine topics that I'm going to be working on. Uh, you can find these uh, Excel lessons in the SBAR website. First, starting with Introduction to Excel, which will be this video, uh, followed by Charts. Then we have Inputs and Outputs in Crop Production, Variable and Fixed Cost in Farming, Opportunity Cost in Farming, Scarcity in Farming, Depreciation in Equipment, Inflation in Farming, and for last, we have Supply and Demand in Crop Production. Okay, so now let's start with the importance of this software. Microsoft Excel is an important computer program in many sectors, from business, classwork, or for personal managing purposes. The program provides a spreadsheet where you, we can find formulas and mathematical calculations. In the case of agribusiness, this software is a fundamental, um, it's a fundamental software for managing purposes. For this reason, it is important to understand the most common concepts in Excel. So. As you can see, this video will be about the most uh, used, useful, and most popular um, concepts, features inside the program. So it's starting with basic concepts and functions. Uh, we have the workbook, which is the, the main file, followed by the worksheet, cell, cell reference, range, format, uh, such as symbol, currency, etc. Then we have formulas as addition, subtraction, division, multiplication, sum, and average. And for last, we have tables. So starting with workbook, this is going to be our Excel file. Um, if you can open Excel uh, software and it will look like this. So in when I say workbook, this is going to be the entire file, like basically the entire screen that you're seeing here. Um, that is That will be our workbook. Then we have the worksheet, which is going to be the, the worksheet or sheet within the Excel file. As you can see, we have this right here on the, the picture um, and then follow it. If you open the, the Excel software, it's going to be this sheets right here. As you can see, we have case one, case two, all the way to case nine. Um, so that's going to be the worksheet. Then we have the cell. This is going to be the rectangular area located in the worksheet. So if you open, it's going to be this rectangular areas that you can see in the worksheet. Now we have the cell reference. This is the area that shows name of cell. So moving to the Excel, it's going to be this section right here. As you can see, we have D2. In this case, let's make sure that we have columns, which are the uh, vertical sections and the horizontals are rows. Um, in this case, the name for this um, cell will be D2 because it comes from the column D. Uh, it's followed by the row number two. Then we have uh, the range, a group of selected cells or tables. Um, if you open your worksheet, in this case, let's say for instance, we have random numbers. If you select the entire uh, area, this is called the range that you're selecting. And this will be used for the following formula. Then we have the format, which is the top bar where we can uh, modify number formats, also align your numbers or content, or even modify the font for the text. So if you move back to the Excel file, it's going to be this section right here where you can modify your numbers. In this case, I want to, instead of having a number, I want to go for a currency or percentage, whatever. Let's say, for instance, currency. If you hit this, it's going to give you that value on each uh, selected cell. The formulas, first starting with addition, remember it's important to always, uh, in this case, select your cell and make the appropriate um, format for the formula. In this case, in Excel, we need to always hit equals and then um, either you can insert uh, n or type numbers or on the other hand, as you can see here on the right side, you can select 
uh, cells that already have a given number. Select them, add, uh, in this case, uh, put your add symbol uh, or your addition symbol, and then hit enter. And I'm going to explain you this further uh, after I'm done with the formulas on the Excel. Then we have uh, subtraction, which is pretty much the same stuff, equal sign. You can either select uh, or type, in this case, type your number or select uh, the cell with the given number. Follow it, we have division, same stuff. Now you just, um, in this case, insert your division symbol, which is going to be this right here. Follow it by multiplication. And then we have sum, which is, uh, this is going to be a uh, more difficult, but it's really useful and um, a really popular formula to use uh, in Excel in order to add ranges with given values. And for last, we have average, where the same stuff or same steps as sum. Uh, in this case, you select your range, hit enter, and this software is going to give you the average of that um, of those uh, selected cells with um, given numbers or values in the Excel software. We have first addition. So I'm going to show you how to insert this formula. Always remember, hit equals. That, that way you're going to tell the, the program to um, make, in this case, an addition. I'm going to select this and then plus sign, sign or symbol plus this. And that's going to give you the addition of both numbers. Um, the other way you can do it is by typing 2 by 2 plus 3 and also it's going to give you but the thing is if you select your cells now um, the selection of these cells is going to get locked so if I make any changes for instance here this section or this cell automatically will change based on the given values of these two selected uh, cells is the same stuff with subtraction division and multiplication so in this case I'm just going to work on um, selecting my cells now for sub subtraction equals five in this case I'm going to put the minus symbol minus three division same stuff five divided this is going to be the new symbol um, by three and then we have the multiplication which it's going to be equals five times three but now in this case I want to use the three numbers in this case uh, also multiply this times four and you see it's going to give a different color to every selected cell so in this case I'm selecting three cells hit um, the enter si enter symbol and then it's going to give you a 60 and that's like a really basic um, use of formulas here in Excel. Now let's go for the formula sum, which is going to be the addition of different values. In this case, instead of just hitting equals 2 plus 2 plus 2, you know, plus 2, going like that, you're going to lose a lot of time. You can use this formula sum, remember type equal, sum, select it, double click, and um, once you have it, select your range. So you're gonna you need to select the entire like five cells. Hit enter, and that's gonna give you the sum of these five um, values. In the case of average, it's pretty much the same. You just need to um, type average, double click, and of, of course select your cell um, or your range of cells. And that's this cell. Um, or this range is going to have uh, an average of 5.8 and if you need if you're confused or need more help I'm going to provide you these formulas um, so you can see addition it's going to give you a key or a guide to just type in this case remember equals your number or the selected cell plus the number um, that you want to type or either that one or you can also uh, select a different cell with a given value. Now we have tables, which is going to be located on this um, section. 
this is going to be the top bar and I'm going to show you uh, further. As you can see on this picture, I'm giving uh, an area or table with different numbers. So I'm going to show you how to create a table with something similar. In this case, open your Excel. And for instance, here we have a range of different numbers and I want to create this uh, as a table. So select your tape to select your range of numbers. In this case, I'm selecting all these um, cells. Go to the insert tab here at the top of the the um, software and you will find the feature table hit on it and then the system is going to show you where is the data for your table so you can hit this corner and i mean in this case it's already selecting it because you did it at the beginning but if you if you did not select it you can go back and just select the area hit enter and now you're telling the software that this is going to be your area you can put like my my table has uh, headers in this case we don't have them but I mean, if you if you had, you can just hit on it so you can tell the system that you have those features and just hit OK. Now, as you can see, uh, the Excel is going to give you a table uh, where you can modify. If I'm selecting it, you can modify with colors. Um, and here's a number of things that you can work with. But this can be uh, explained in a different video. And these are the instructions for the quiz. The first thing we need to open a handout lesson uh, titled Introduction to Excel and then complete the quiz. Once we're done answering and reviewing, reviewing the quiz, we need to download the Excel for Agribusiness case studies and then um, open the case number one, which is uh, the worksheet. Um, and then start filling in the blank spaces with the appropriate formula in the green table titled Six Year, t six year Green Chili Production. As you can see, we have uh, the worksheets. We need to go for the case number one, this one right here, and then uh, start filling in the blank spaces, these three spaces with the given data. So this is a table with a six year green chili production. Uh, we need to first, first let's answer the first question, meaning what is the yield difference between year one and year two? This is going to be um, a subtraction, as you can see here. So remember, hit equals, then um, we have year 28, select your year, minus uh, the yield per acre on the first year. So we have uh, 3,000 pounds of difference. For the second, remember, hit equals. And what is the total yield in the sixth year of production? Instead of uh, adding one by one, remember we need to use our sum formula. So we need to type sum, click on it, and then select your range. And this is gonna be your range, uh, the five spaces uh, or five cells. Hit enter, and that's going to be the total yield in the six years of production. For last, we have the average. What is the yield average in the six years of production? Remember, equal sign and then we have for uh, average it's right here equals average so type average you have it in this section double click on it and then select your range so that's going to be a, an average of 27,400 uh, pounds so this will be the three results that you need to write down on your um, lesson so now we just reviewed uh, some of the basic Excel concepts and functions, starting with workbook, worksheet, cell, cell reference, range, format, formulas, and tables. Of course, this program offers numerous types of concepts and functions. Some of them are easy, some of them are super hard to understand, but I mean, all this information can be, you can find this on, of course, the internet or you know, there's a lot of different types of web pages that explain each uh, concept and function um, more deeply. So this is the last part of this video. The following video will be about charts and you can find these on the SBAR um, website.